How's it going, Giant fans? Welcome to another edition of the Hurry Up. I'm your host, Adam. Let's get into it. So the Giants finished their third and final preseason game, and boy, was it terrible. Like, it was terrible. I mean, it's fun for preseason. I was expecting a lot more, and the offense pooped the bed. It's just not good. It was not good. I don't care what anybody says. Andrew Thomas, he needs to work on some stuff, man. He needs to do it in a hurry. Like, he's saying, oh, I forgot the short set. Dude, like, why are you doing it now? You got beat three times. And I'm not uh, – you got beat twice in the game and more times on the play. You got Ted Larson next to you. Guy guy needs to – see you later. Hit the, hit the next bus out of here. I don't think he's going to be on the team. But let's get into it a little bit, little and nitty-gritty. Daniel Jones giving you the same Daniel Jones performance. Everyone's like, oh, he did well. Yeah, he completed some passes under duress, mostly. Mrs. Devontae Booker open, which you should have hit that play, which probably negates a sack, you know. The one play that stands out to me that I can't get out of my head is the interception in the red zone. Like, I know they ran the same play previously to get down there with Evan Ingram, but come on. Just come on. You know, just come. What are you doing? Like, oh, my Lord. You just stay. Hey, you know what the worst part is? Is you watch the play in slow-mo, and he's still throwing it to somebody else. Like, obviously the blue jersey's not standing there where it's supposed to be. You don't just throw it there. Like, oh, oh, oh well, he's supposed to be there. Da -da -da. Like, you don't do that. You don't do it. And you know what the worst part is? These are rookie mistakes. These things have been happening to him since his rookie year. Boneheaded, boneheaded play. Like with Eli, I get it. But at some point, you've got to get out of your own butt and make the right decision. And then what happens? Second teamers come in. They move the ball. Bing, 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 bing. Throws a beautiful ball down to Caden Smith. You're like, oh, there's Daniel Jones. There's what we want to see. But then you look at his stat line and it's one for one. If you have that, he's going to have 17 touchdowns and 17 interceptions. Like, come on. Enough is enough already. Enough is enough. The, off the first team offense, putrid. I am not looking forward to playing that Denver defense come September 12th. I know people are like, oh, well, you know, it's only Denver. I'm like, yo, Denver's got Von Miller, who's more of a name than most of those guys on that Belichick defense. And the worst part is they played those guys for two days straight. You practice against them for two days. You understand who's coming at you. Well, you can block him in practice. I told you. Controlled environment. You don't got to worry about the quarterback getting sacked. The play is over. Whistle dead by your coaches. In a real game, ain't nobody whistling the dead until the person's on the ground. Andrew Thomas. Matt Pert wasn't even that much better. Nate sold it. The Giants need help. You got to figure it out. I don't know. Evan Ingram's injured. You know, I'm not really worried about that. He's probably going to be back if he's out. You know, he didn't really do much anyways. Just Evan Ingram. How does Evan Ingram, not at the goal line, score a touchdown? You're a tight end. Run that guy over. Jeez. Defensively, I enjoyed it. Still got a lot of work. Blake Martinez made a heck of a play. That's another thing. The Giants didn't score on a short field. If your team is going to get you a turnover against a, a guy like Cam Newton and get you the ball on the 50-yard line or close to the 50-yard line, you've got to score. You've got to score. And that's the name of this game right now with the Giants. The Giants lost this game by two points. I know people are telling you it's preseason, but there are trends that have – Went from last year to this year. First off, what is Jason Garrett doing? Two minutes, you get the ball inside two minutes. The first play you run, you think a jet sweep is a great play to run? Like, geez. <clears throat> I know it's preseason, but they ran that play three times. Three times. CJ Board, Sterling Shepard twice. Come on. I know you're waiting on Tony and Gala, and I really hope these guys are healthy because they need, they're going to need Randall, uh, Rudolph. They're going to need Gala, you know. It, it, it sounds like a, I sound the Giants sound like a, a bad Christmas song, you know, R Rudolph, Rudolph, the red nose tight end and happy holidays. You know what I mean? Happy holidays and Rudolph, the red tight end. Right. I mean, come on, come on. We need these guys back. Preseason's over. You got a couple days to tinker with your roster. There's going to be players cut this uh, tomorrow. There's going to be uh, waiver wire cuts because they got to go do 16 players on Wednesday for the practice squad, which I'm looking forward to seeing them keep a guys like Damian Willis. He made the, he to me 
I, if I had to keep somebody, I'm keeping him over one of the, over CJ Board or Sills. You just give him he's he's produced on the field. I love Sills, but I got to go with what the production is. He came in late and still produced. I think you'll see that guy as a call up as the season goes on. Darius Slayton, what are you doing, Darius Slayton? What are you doing? Third and thirteen. Mm, oh, drop the ball. Drop the ball. Like, that's the same song and dance with Darius Slayton. You know what? Kick him down to, to receiver four. It should be Galladay. It should be Shepard. It should be Tony. And then it should be uh, Darius Slayton. Earn the right to play. It's time to have accountability with these guys. It's time to make some trades. I know the Giants got 10 picks next year. Maybe it's time to give up one of those picks. One of them first rounders and be like, listen, we need a lineman. Here we go. All right, folks. Two weeks left in the season. Uh, two weeks left till the season, start of the season. I hope the Giants can 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 give you a, can give a better showing because if not, it's going to be a long afternoon. And I don't care what the defense does. If the offense is struggling, and somehow there's a break in the game, you know, if it's a close game, and the same thing happened with uh, the Rams last year. The Giants were in that game the whole time. The offense was struggling, and one breakdown by the defense, and the game was over. I I don't want that to happen at MetLife Stadium. September 12th, the game is highly contested back and forth, you know, and then all of a sudden one broken play. You know, and Saquon Barkley is going to be back. That's going to change everything. That's going to change the entire, the entirety of the offense, but not good for your starters, for a preseason dress rehearsal. They should be a little more crisp. I blame a little bit. I blame Joe Judge on that one. I blame the coaching staff on that one when they say, oh, we played a game. We don't need to do anything else. I blame them because the second teamers came in and the second teamers looked better. They moved the football up and down the field. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why. Keep that in mind while you're going. Hope you enjoyed this video. Got a little, got a little fiery because, you know, it's Monday and it's the day after a, a preseason loss where the team looked terrible. I know it's preseason again, but you got to look better than that with your starters. I'm out. Enjoy. Two weeks to go, people. Then it really begins. Woo!